When the Wright brothers took off at Kitty Hawk in 1904, the Austin Company had already been designing and constructing industrial projects for more than a quarter century. Twelve years later, man flight was becoming a commercial reality and the War Department tasked Glenn Curtis to provide training aircraft for World War I. Curtis turned to Austin to rapidly build a 603,000 square foot plant in Buffalo, New York in less than 120 days to manufacture the JN4 Jenny. And so began a century, the first century, of Austin's history in designing and constructing aviation and aerospace facilities. Early in the 20th century, Wilbert Austin, son of our founder, envisioned the future of aviation. That vision resulted in Austin designing and constructing numerous airports, manufacturing plants, and aircraft support hangars. Wilbert's vision and passion established aviation in our DNA. 25 years after the Curtis Project, Austin was again building for the war efforts with aircraft plants for Consolidated in Fort Worth, Douglas in Oklahoma City and Chicago, Grumman Aircraft in Long Island, and Bell Aircraft Corporation in Niagara Falls, and Boeing in Seattle. Big plants built in record times to advance the war effort. Over 20,000 construction workers were employed at nearly 100 building sites simultaneously. After the war, Austin continued its work building facilities for Boeing that created the famed 707 and 727 jets that changed commercial aviation. Fifty years after Curtis, aviation in the world changed and Austin was there to deliver the world's largest structure, Boeing's 747 plant in Everett, Washington. Construction of the plant is legendary. In 1966, Boeing bet the company on the massive 747, and in just 19 months, Austin planned, designed, and built the two and a half million square foot wide body plant in Everett. To accommodate the jets, the plant features multiple bays, each with a 360 foot clear span and a truss depth almost four stories tall to handle the loads. Austin expanded this enormous facility two more times to accommodate the assembly of the 767 and the 777 aircraft. The success of this work did not go unnoticed. Additional major projects were completed for Northrop Grumman, Lockheed Martin, McDonnell Douglas and Raytheon. Maintenance hangars for United, Eastern, Alaska, Alitalia and Continental Airlines and many others. More aircraft have been assembled in Austin-built facilities than in facilities designed or built by any other contractor. In 1996, Boeing awarded Austin another massive project in Decatur, Alabama to design and build the Delta IV rocket plant, a 1.5 million square foot plant that turns large sheets of aluminum into rockets that fly satellites into space. We closed this first century by partnering with longtime client Northrop Grumman to create facilities supporting their centers of excellence for manned flight in Melbourne, Florida, and the E2D assembly plant in St. Augustine. We also welcomed new client Airbus, where we designed and engineered their new assembly, logistics, and office facilities in Mobile, Alabama. Our second century begins with the construction of production facilities for Embraer in Melbourne, Florida. If the environment we build shapes our DNA, it is clear we are entering the next century of flight with a strong passion for excellence in building for the future of aviation and space travel. We are part of the industry's history and we wonder what the next century will bring. One thing is for certain, Austin's first 100 years is a pretty good start.